Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to set a static IP on a headless Raspberry Pi. This will work on a system with a head on it, so connected to a monitor. However, in my case I'm using a Raspberry Pi W, headless, so I have no monitor and keyboard connected, therefore I'll be doing this using SSH. So in order to connect to the Raspberry Pi, I will right click my start menu and go to Windows PowerShell Admin and select yes to the user account control that pops up. I will then do SSH, space, then the username, which is Pi, and at sign, and then the address, which is Raspberry Pi, if it's still set as default. It's now asking me for the password, which is Raspberry, and hit return if you run in defaults and I'm now logged into my Raspberry Pi. I'm going to clear the screen by typing clear and then I'm going to do sudo which is super user do space nano which is a file editor space slash etc slash dhcpcd.conf and hit return and the first thing you'll see is there's a lot of information in here but we can ignore all that and we can just scroll all the way down to the bottom as you can see here, it's giving you examples of a static IP configuration. So we'll remove the hashtag. If you're using a wired connection, ETH0 is likely to be the correct. However, I'm using wireless, so mine will be WLAN0. The static IP address should be 192.168.0.180. You can actually remove the slash 24 from this, I believe. So we'll do that. I'm not using an IP6 address at the moment, so I can delete that. Now the static root is 192.168.0.1 so that's routing all of my traffic through my internet provider's modem and you can change your domain name servers in here as you can see so I'll just change that what it's looking at here is it's looking at my ISP's router and then it's looking at Google now I don't like using Google servers I prefer the faster Cloudflare ones, which are 1.1.1.1 and that's IPv6 information there, so I can delete that. So hopefully, if I do Control X and Y to save and then hit return, in order for these to take effect, we'll have to reboot the Raspberry Pi. So we can do sudo reboot. And we'll give that a moment to reboot. Okay, hopefully that's rebooted by now. So let's do ssh pi at raspberry pi return and then enter a password and with mine to log in. So let's check if IP has changed by entering hostname dash and capital I. And as you can see IP address has now changed to 192 .168.0.180. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback on this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.